The concept of a limit is fundamental to the development of calculus. We're going to talk about the idea of limits graphically. First, try and give you an intuitive sense and then a more formal definition. So let's say we have a function and we're interested in what the function does as we approach the x value of 4. So we can follow the function from the right hand side and see that we are approaching a function value or a y value of 2. If we moved along the function from the left hand side we see that we also approach the same function value of 2. So we say the limit of this function as x approaches 4 is 2 because as we get nearer and nearer to x equals 4 from either side we're getting closer and closer to the function value 2. Here's another example if we wanted to approach 4. As we approach from the right hand side we approach a function value of 2 yet if we approach from the left hand side we approach a function value of 1. Since as we get close to 4 we get different function values from either side they do not agree with each other we say the limit of this function as x approaches 4 does not exist. Now here we have, it's kind of exaggerated so you can see it, but it's just simply an excluded value from the domain of the function. So this function is not defined for x equals 4, but it is defined for all values near 4. So as we approach from either side, we see that we still are approaching a function value of 2. It's kind of like the bumpers are hanging over the hole. We're not at the whole because we're not interested in evaluating the function at 4. We're interested in what the function value is as we get closer and closer to 4. So not equaling 4 but getting very near 4 we see that the function approaches 2 and so we say the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 equals 2. Here's another example. This time the function is defined everywhere. At x equal 4 the function is defined. You can see this dot here. Again, they're large and exaggerated, exaggerated so you can see them. Function value is defined at 4. Okay, as we approach 4 from either side we see we've got our bumpers hanging over this hole and the function value is actually lower than that. But as we get closer and closer to 4 we are getting closer and closer to the function value 2. So the limit still does exist here and it has nothing to do with the function value at that point. We are approaching 4 from either side and as we do that we approach the function value of 2. And so it doesn't matter that the function is defined differently at x equal 4. The limit as x approaches 4 of this function is 2. So just without the cars, just looking at functions here, as we look in the upper left hand corner, if we choose some value of x, we typically say at x equal a, and we approach from the left or the right, we see that we approach the same function value, so the limit exists there. Moving over to the top right corner, we have an undefined place. We have an excluded value from the domain, and we're interested in the limit as we approach that value. As we approach from the left or the right, we still are approaching the same function value, so even though the function is not defined at that point, the limit exists there and we can still see that we are approaching that same value. Looking in the bottom left, this is the situation where the function is defined differently at this particular point, so it's the, we have the, the hole there and the function is defined down here and as we approach from either side we are still approaching the function value that is right here so the limit does exist and it is at whatever this y value is here. And then looking in the bottom right as we're interested here and we approach from the left or the right we approach different function values therefore the limit does not exist at this particular x equals a.